my new intro. Enjoy my new video. Here we go. Hi, we're back. Did you miss us? It's manifesting with Candace and Weasley. How you doing, Master Manifestors? It's been a minute. I did a video three weeks ago. I said I was going to do one last week, but um, it was my cousin's wedding. And when I said that in my last video, it didn't cross my mind. So sorry. And I also said I was going to do a video on being happy for others. Then I'm going to do that in two weeks because I been posting videos bi-weekly unless something comes up um i might do that in two weeks or i might do something else i think i want to do a video on um what oh, you in two weeks i'm going to do a video either on being happy for others or how i manifest things i think i'm going to do that one though we'll see Anyway, I decided to do a video on pay attention to who or what you listen to, like other coaches, angels, signs, friends, whoever. And I'm going to get into that. I'm going to get into how it helps with manifesting, how it doesn't help with manifesting. Right? Should I put you down? Yeah, I'll put you down. And I'll put you later. Okay? He wanted to get down. Anywho, hi, how are you? So yes, this video is about paying attention. To who or what to listen to when it comes to manifesting. I do have a pay attention to playlist. And a couple of videos are pay attention to the signs, pay attention to the angel numbers, pay attention to your dreams. So those are things you should be listening to and looking out for. And that will help you with your manifesting. I have an angel number playlist. I have the uh, angels in the title playlist. Angels give you different signs. Listen to those signs and they each mean different things. They mean certain things that you can manifest. If you're seeing specific angel numbers and you're trying to manifest something specific, that's why you're seeing those angel numbers because it means that specific thing is going to come to you. Like seeing 222. I saw 222 before I got Dan, my man. 222 means your soulmate is already in your life. And he was. We worked together since 2015. I started the job in 2014. I was there six days a week and now I'm only there one day a week on Sundays. And he's there six days a week. He started 2015 and I didn't start liking him until 2017 because all of a sudden he just started flirting with me. Then 2018 we got together and I manifested him. So that goes to my next topic. So pay attention to the signs, dreams, and angel numbers. They're there to tell you your manifestations are coming. So those are things you should be listening to. And when it comes to coaches, listen to ones who have success stories, or how to playlists like I do. <laughs> I think I'm gonna make a success story playlist and add a, a lot of the how to into that playlist also. It's not just a how to playlist, it's a how, how I and how to that are in the title, like how I manifested certain things or how to manifest certain things or just like the word how in it. So the how I manifested will be in the playlist, in the success story playlist because I have manifested certain things like Weasley. Check out my video, how I manifested my dream cat. That's a success story, I have a cat. I want an orange and white cat, male, a few months old, and I got him. I have two videos on how I manifested my dream cat. The second one, I can't even remember, it's such a long ass title. <laughs> oh, I think it's, be specific when it comes to manifesting your soulmate could be anything. How I manifest my dream cat, soul kitty, at the right time. There's some shit like that, it's called. I go more into detail on that one about how I got my dream cat and how he's my soul kitty. And your soulmates are not just people, they could be pets also. But you have to be specific when it comes to manifesting. Be specific on what you want to manifest. That's when you're asking the universe something. Remember, you ask once, you let it go, and then it will come to you. And I'm going to talk about that in a future video. About how I manifest what I want, letting go. I think I'm going to call it let it go part two. Or how I manifest what I want, let it go part two. Something like that. Um, so when you're watching manifestation coaches, make sure they have success stories. And there are other things you should be looking out for. Like, I don't ask anybody for money. I mean, it's okay to ask money because that might be their income. But check to see how much they're charging you. If they're overcharging you or charging you way too much, then I wouldn't totally trust that because they could really bid in for the money, especially if they don't have success stories. Say like that it would be my income. I won't be charging people crazy money. Like, I'm not greedy like that. I won't be charging so much money. I'm not greedy like that. I'm doing these videos for free. You're getting my free service. I don't really need to be charging so much money. In the future, when I do become popular with a lot of subscribers, 
and I would want to start charging stuff, I'm gonna make things expensive and I'm not gonna be charging for every single thing. So watch out for those two things, success like stories and how much people charge you. And see how real they are. Like I say I'm a good coach because I'm real and I'm honest and I tell you things like sometimes it's hard for me to believe or to manifest things. I'm telling you that because I don't want to be like, oh yeah, manifest things all the time. I'm not going to be a liar or a fake. I don't like fake. I'm the real deal. <laughs> I have success stories. I tell you that it's hard for me to manifest certain things. Sometimes it's hard for me to believe in certain things. And that's why I have a hard time manifesting certain things because it's hard to believe. And some coaches say you don't have to believe, but you do have to believe because whatever I believe, I receive. When I don't believe, I don't receive. Even in The Secret, there's a saying, ask, believe, receive. And I have a video on that. And that's why I introduced Weasley. Manifesting is to do with the law of attraction and law of assumption. There are other laws. I talk a lot about law of attraction and law of assumption as well. And I think they work well together. I have a video called Law of Attraction versus Law of Assumption and how they work well together. Check out that video. So you can see that both really do work well together. And check out my video. Let me explain what you have to believe. Like I just said, when I don't believe, I don't get things that I want. But then there are times that I'm trying to manifest things and I try to tell myself I am going to get this thing, but then deep down, I'm not really believing that I will get it. Like in my old neighborhood, there are times that I would try to manifest looking for parking and deep down, I would believe, even though I'm saying affirmations over and over again, but I'm not believing that I would get parking. But then when I really start to believe, well, I'll say in affirmations that I get parking. I have a video called why your affirmations aren't working for you. I have a video called what type of affirmations you should be using and how to use affirmations correctly. There are some people that say you don't have to believe. Watch my video on why your affirmations are not working for you. And one of them is about believing. Rhonda Byrne and Bob Proctor, who are law of attraction philosophers, Rhonda Byrne wrote The Secret, <laughs> say you have to believe. They talk about ask, believe, receive secrets. <laughs> you hungry? Drive feeder is about to go off any second. 435. <laughs> you hear a noise? That's his drive feeder. You hear that ding sound. So affirmations work when you believe. Ah, there it goes. I don't know if you can hear him running, you can hear his bell. People say you don't have to believe. To me, that's bullshit. There are times I say affirmations. They don't work if I don't believe. They work, but I do believe. And remember, a law of attraction works whether you believe in it or not. I have a video on that too. It's always working. If you're positive, positive things will happen. If you're negative, negative things will happen. If you don't believe, you won't receive. All what law of attraction is about. The more you complain, the more you have to be complained about. It's a like attracts like. You attract how you feel. You attract how you act. If you act happy, you'll get things that make you happy. If you're grateful, you'll attract more to be grateful for. Like I said, if you complain, you'll attract more to complain about. That's what like attract like is. And there are celebrities like Steve Hardy who talks about like attracts like. Listen to celebrities, watch videos of celebrities in law of attraction because a lot of them used it and manifested what they wanted. Listen to celebrities, listen to coaches who don't ask for too much money and who have success stories. And listen to the angels and the signs and the universe and God, if you believe in God. God and the angels come from above. Pay attention to them. Check out my pay attention playlist and pay attention to your dreams. And always remember, the universe hears your thoughts. Thoughts become things. If you see it in your mind, you will hold it in your hand. I have videos on all those and celebrities talk about that as well. Steve Harvey talks about those things as well. And Bob Proctor does too in The Secret. The universe listens to you. Listen to it back. Listen to the signs from the universe, from the angels, from God. And the next thing I'm talking about is listening to friends. Have friends that are supportive. You might want to tell them certain things that you want, especially your close best friends. There might be ones that are negative. Don't listen to negativity. But that's why I have a video called The Secret to Law of Attraction. Just keeping it a secret. Try not to say what you're trying to manifest. Uh, everyone knows I'm trying to manifest losing weight. I think that's all. That's all I've told you guys. I've never said anything else I'm trying to manifest. Or really told everybody else what I'm trying to manifest. Even without manifesting, just pay attention to your friends that are on your side and support you. And I'm going to do a video on that about being happy for other people. Your friends should be happy for you and be positive and support you. So pay attention to that too. That's basically it. Pay attention to the signs of angel numbers in the universe and God. What they're showing you. Listen to them. They listen to you too. And then you'll manifest what you want. If the coach is asking too much money or they don't have success stories, then they don't really know what they're talking about. They don't really manifest what they want. 
and then that's why you're probably not manifesting what you want. So there are plenty of coaches that have manifest what they want. If their tips and rules help you manifest, keep listening to them. And just see how you feel about certain coaches. Can you trust what they're saying? Are they showing their proof of what they manifested? Are they showing they can be trustworthy like me? I'm my soulmate, you know that. I have my cat, you know that. And there are little things that I just manifest from believing. Like, I couldn't do a video two weeks ago on a Friday anyway. Even though that I skip it because I thought I was going to do one last Friday. <laughs> Because I, you know, I do every other Friday. Um, I had to take Weasley to the vet for the second time. I was really worried because he wasn't eating. But deep down, I believed that he'd be okay. I assumed that he would be okay. Even though I was worrying. So, because I really believed he'd be okay. And I told myself that he's fine. And that there's nothing to be wrong with him. That he was fine. Nothing was wrong with him. Blood work came back fine. Everything came back fine. I believed and I told myself that he's going to be okay. Even though I was worrying. The obsession overtook the worry. And parking, I still manifest parking. You say affirmations again, I manifest parking. And I say general affirmations all day, every day. And I feel like I'm a lucky person and I do get a lot of things that I want, even if they're little things. I haven't really manifested anything big yet, but I believe that I will. Like, I want Bum to be a famous YouTuber. I haven't really tried to manifest it. I have visualized enough. I say, I'll say an affirmation for it, but it's like a general affirmation. It's not like I'm a famous YouTuber affirmation. I used to say that, but then I stopped doing that. Because I feel like general affirmations are better. Because you're not really asking for something specific. Slowly I'm getting there. I'm not really persisting. I'm not visualizing. I'm not really doing sacks and stuff. I know I got to do that more. And I feel like it's better to manifest one thing at a time. So I lost weight in the past. I manifested that. I like didn't really try to do it as much. But then I started doing it again. I started losing weight again. But now I'm trying to really focus on something else that's more important. And then I'll go back to the losing weight. And it's more important thing. It's not even for myself to help someone else. See, that's why I'm a coach. I help other people help you. And I'm helping you. You're other people. <laughs> so anyway, remember, you create your own life. You want to create your own life? Change your mindset and you will change your life. <laughs> I have two videos on that. Create your own life and change your mindset. Change your life. When you change your mindset, you will create the life that you want. You will change your life and create to the one that you want. So pay attention to these things and you will create the life that you want. <laughs> Somebody's like jumping around. And remember another thing. But you know how I said law of attraction works whether you believe in it or not, whether you know what it is or not. Another saying by Bob Proctor in The Secret, because I've seen it so many times, is law of attraction is not evil. I have two videos on that, and I, a couple people leave in comments on shorts, but I'm deleting because I delete stupid comments that from trolls. Because then I want to put people's head that people think law of attraction is evil, because it's not evil. Law of attraction is almost. I've said it so many times in those two videos and other videos. Law of attraction is like asking God for something you believe in God. Even if you don't believe in God, law of attraction is basically attracting things into your life by how you feel. You feel gratitude. You feel positive and happy. You attract more of those things. Is that a bad thing? No. <laughs> Say positive affirmations. Is that a bad thing? No. So for the people who think that it's evil, Gaita na boca, va I'm not gonna say that in English. <laughs> A lot of people might even know what those mean already. <laughs> not evil. Do I look evil? <laughs> no. Oh my god, spooky season tea, weasel! I love it. Halloween's my favorite, so it's fall. Anyway, let's go get the weasel. I call him weasel. Weasley. <laughs> Weasley, you ready? I'm gonna get you and then we're gonna say bye. Be right back. Hi, we're back. Did you miss Weasley? You could subscribe to my channel if you just wanna see cute cat videos because most of my shorts are with him. You could subscribe for that. You could subscribe to see videos of both of us. Um, I think I look good too. <laughs> and to help manifest whatever you want, like your dream pet like I have, like I talked about in this video. On how, um, make sure coaches talk about things that they have manifested. So anyway, have a great weekend. We'll see you in shorts. I've been posting a lot of old shorts of him too for new followers because I have that's 100 videos of course, almost. Almost yeah. Okay, thank you for subscribing. Please subscribe. Please give this video a like. And please hit that bell notification so you can notify whenever I post a new video. Sometimes I'll do a different day, but most of the time no, it's usually every other Friday. Or I'll say I'm gonna do it next Friday and then I forgot to have something and then I don't do it. So then you'll know. Anyway. 
subscribe, 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 manifest, manifest, manifest. See you in two weeks with us and every day with him. In old shorts and sometimes new shorts. Bye.